the lobby of Ramsey Solutions. Kyle and Jamie are with us. Hey, guys, how are you? Doing great, Dave. Doing great. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Where do you guys live? Oh, in the D.C. area. Oh, fun. Well, welcome to Nashville. Thank you. So you're here to do a debt-free scream. Indeed yes. we are. I love it. I love it. How much have you paid off? I paid off eighty-five grand. All right. How long did that take you? 28 months. Well done. Making what kind of money? Started out 60, uh, now currently around 72. That doesn't include a, a housing fund that we get. Okay. Very cool. Housing fund. You're in the military? Uh, ah, you okay. guessed by the haircut, right? All right. Well, no, by the housing fund. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but, uh, which, which branch? Uh, the Marine Corps. Okay. Well, thank you for your service. Thank Very you. cool. So uh, you do that. And uh, Jamie, do you work outside the home? No, I get to be a stay-at-home mom. Ah, that's awesome. Okay. And the three kiddos are here with us running around. They'll join you when you get ready to do the debt-free scream, I hope. Absolutely. Yeah, Chesney and uh, Trenton and Autumn are how old? Four, uh, two, and almost one. Ah, whoa. You got lots of little ones. Yes. You got your hands full, Mom. Okay, very cool. So what kind of debt was this $85,000? A little bit of everything. Uh, we had student loans, cars, credit cards, uh, bedroom suite. Yes. Uh, like I said, a little bit of everything. Never met a debt we didn't like. So you're normal. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Full-blooded Americans. All right. Very cool. So which was the biggest debt? Uh, student loans. Ah, how much of the 85 was that? Uh, about 45. So over half then. Yes. Okay. Wow. So, uh, Jamie, what happened 28 months ago? Um, well, that's actually Kyle's story. I just know he came home and uh, told me, hey, we should uh, check out this Dave Ramsey and... Uh, listen to his DVD and buy his book, but I'll let him expound a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I worked with a guy, a very sharp guy, um, but he drove this beater car around, but he was so proud of it because it was paid off. And uh, he called in one day and said his transmission broke. He was more stressed out about being late to work than the transmission blowing out. He said he's actually plan still planning on going out that weekend and buying a handgun. I'm like, you know, he'd already been, already been mentioning you throughout the time I was working with him. Mm -hmm. And so I thought there was something to it. I uh, went down to the chaplain's office and borrowed the uh, the military edition uh, demo mm -hmm. DVD that you put out. Mm -hmm. And he started going down the list of stupid things that people do with their money. And I was like, yep, check, check. He had done that, got my T-shirt for that one. I was like, there's something to this. we got to try it out. So. Okay, cool. So you decided to go home and talk to Jamie about it. And uh, – <laughs> Was, were you receptive, Jamie, or you're like, eh, I'd like to get out of debt, but all this is kind of sounds weird, or what? Um, I actually told him, I actually asked him if he was sure that we should spend the uh, $150 for the home study kit. Yeah. If <laughs> that was a good idea. Yeah. Because um, it felt like at the time that things maybe just were kind of, excuse me, kind of tight. And yeah. Then, yeah, you're trying to raise three kids. You're trying to make sure everything's happening at home, and this yeah. guy comes home with this bright idea to spend money to get out of debt. That seems backward. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's exactly right. Good for you. Okay, that's what I would have done. So, uh, th then, so you bought the home study kit. We did. Yes. We did. And then the two of you went through it. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And uh, so, at what point in the process then did you start to realize this might work? I'd say once we got our first debt paid off. Um, setting up the uh, baby step one mm -hmm. of the emergency fund was pretty pretty easy. I think that was done, mm -hmm. you know, within a couple of days. Yeah. But um, yeah, once we had the first step paid off, and then things kind of got rolling, and rolling and rolling. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I the further you it. get into that, yes. the more you believe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool. So Kyle, what was the hardest part of this for you? Uh getting rid of the toys at first but uh, oh you yeah. had to sell some stuff <laughs> yeah the uh what'd you sell uh harley davidson road king classic oh! that, yeah a couple of guys still uh still talk to me about but, oh. uh bass boat there's you know oh you don't know man <laughs> yeah i was uh, living jeep. <laughs> a what my jeep your yeah. jeep yeah. oh so he didn't just sell his stuff oh, yeah. we sold some of your stuff okay yeah. all right so, so what know, are you driving now jamie um, we drive a, is it a 2006? 2006 Dodge Ram, Ram. yeah. Okay. I right. sold, <laughs> I sold the, this is why the guys give me so much beef, but I sold the Harley. Uh, I was able to pay that off and then use the rest of it to, to buy an uh, 01 Honda Accord. Yeah. Uh, which is my Dave car, but I'm, I wouldn't trade that for anything. I love that car. Now, now. you're like the guy that, honor. now you're the guy that is smart with money <laughs> and everybody's asking about this yeah, stuff. That's exactly. why they're giving you a hard time about it. Exactly. They're jealous of your car. <laughs> Not really. They're just jealous of you winning. Yeah. But yeah. Very fun. Cool. There, there was one thing where we had finished watching, uh, I think it was series four, season four, or not season four, but week four, the dumping debt. Mm -hmm. And you're running across the stage, you know, telling you to sell everything. And I'm telling you, we were pumped up on the couch, listing everything we're going off. 
And uh, I looked over in the kitchen, or I'm sorry, the dining room, and saw this dining room table that I bought her for her birthday. Oh. And I was like, you know, we could probably get a couple hundred bucks out of that. And she looked at me, and she said, maybe you should pray about that. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it clicked. The light bulb went off. All those years, hey, babe, I think we need a bass boat. I think I need a motorcycle. <laughs> Justifying everything. And she kept saying, maybe we're going to pray about it. It finally clicked. That means no way. <laughs> so <laughs> means you're not being bright. <laughs> yeah, I learned I learned a lot along the way, and I do appreciate that. Now maybe we should pray about it as you're not being smart. Now, okay, that's code for dummy. Listen, yeah, yeah there you I go. I love it. That's fun. Very cool. Well, congratulations, y'all. How does it feel now? Good. Indescribable. I love yes. it. I, I wouldn't trade any of those toys for anything. It's, uh, you know, peace, uh, knowing that we have a, you know, we can build a strong future for our family and our three kids will grow up learning how to manage money and, uh, you know, they'll have a bright future as well. So. Yeah, absolutely. Completely change the family tree. Yes. Very cool. So what advice do you give now when people find out you've paid off $85,000 worth of debt? How do you tell them you did that? What are the keys to getting out of debt? Uh, definitely have a budget and work together as a team. Mm -hmm. I think that was the biggest help. Um, before, we really weren't communicating much about money or spending. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once we were it was, and had it put down on paper, it was much easier to follow and keep each other accountable for, too. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. What about you, Kyle? Uh, I mean, I would say uh, being willing to look long-term, uh, being willing to sacrifice short-term and uh, for the long-term good. Yeah, and that's that was key for me. That was key. It is me. living like no one else, so that later you get to live and give like no one else. Yeah. I've heard that before. Yeah, you got those three <laughs> little babies, and you've yeah. completely changed your family tree. You guys are heroes. Thank you. Thank you, you really are, and we appreciate your service to the country Thank again, you. sir. Thank you very much. Absolutely incredible. All right, Kyle and Jamie, Chesney, Trenton, and Autumn are in the background in the bookstore hanging out. Are you going to bring them up? Oh, we'd love to. Oh, okay. Yeah, our four-year-old right. said he's going to blow your speakers out, so Okay, we'll cool. We'll get him up there, Ms. Dorothy, right. and we'll get him going because we get him on shot for the camera as well. Beautiful family. Wow. How cute. That's fun. I need a dinosaur. I need a new dinosaur. <laughs> I haven't had a dinosaur in a while. I think Grandpa's ought to have a dinosaur. What do you all think? <laughs> yeah. All right. Kyle and Jamie, wow. Chesney, Trenton, and Autumn from Washington, D.C., $85,000 paid off in 28 months, making sixty to $72,000. They sold everything in sight, mainly Kyle's stuff. <laughs> Count it down. Let's hear a great debt-free scream. Okay, here we go. Three, two, two one. one. We're, We're debt-free! Yeah! Way to go! Yes! Great job, you guys. Absolutely. Very, very well done. That's how you do it right there. No question about it. Very fun. Well, you guys would be so rich so fast and be able to do so much not only for yourselves and for your family, but for others. Hey.